My presentation today will explain the seven steps that are outlined by Trevino and Nelson in the text and how Cynthia Cooper, the whistleblower at WorldCom, used these steps. Uh, the first step is to approach her manager. Uh, she brought the issues that she was finding to the audit committee at WorldCom and the next day her boss, Mr. Sullivan, told her that she shouldn't interfere with the transfers that were taking place. Uh, specifically telling her not, not to get involved. Uh, the next step that Trevino and Nelson outline is discussing the fam discussing the issues with your family for support. Uh, Cynthia Cooper did do this. Uh, she talk, told her family about what she was finding and also relied on them as she started to, to feel the stress of that the investigation was putting on her. Uh, the next step that, that's outlined is taking it to the next level. Uh, the SEC was requesting information uh, because uh, WorldCom was reporting such high profits while their competitors were showing large losses. Uh, she instructed her team to keep looking for more proof of the wrongdoing, even though her boss had told her to, to pretty much cease and desist. Uh, she also contacted uh, David Myers, who is the company controller at WorldCom, and he told her that the people she had working for her uh, wor essentially worked for him and didn't have time to help her with her with her investigation and to, to essentially leave them be. Uh, the next step that is outlined by Trevino and Nelson is to contact your company's ethics officer, and I couldn't find anything. Uh, about uh, Cynthia Cooper actually doing this, although she did contact uh, the audit committee and the company controller. Uh, the next step would be to go go outside of the chain of command. Uh, if you aren't getting the results that you need from from your supervisor or anything of that sort, uh, you would want to go either above them or go to a different resource. And to do this, uh, she brought her suspicions to the auditors at Arthur Anderson at first, which was the, the auditors for WorldCom. Uh, Arthur Anderson essentially told her that they didn't answer to her and that they answered to Mr. Sullivan and essentially left it at that. Uh, ultimately, after she found a, a lot more evidence of fraud, she brought the matter to the head of the WorldCom Audit Committee, and that is essentially where things ended. Uh, when she brought all of the evidence to the Audit Committee, it was eventually turned over to the SEC, and that was uh, essentially the end of the investigation. Another step, step six, would be to go outside of the company and Cynthia Cooper really never had to do this, uh, where she brought the information to the audit to the audit committee, actually the chairman of the audit committee. And once that happened, it, everything was brought to the light and, and was shown to the public. Uh, the final step, the, the last step you should take if you can't get things resolved, is to ultimately leave the company. It's better that you move on for your career, for your family, just to leave a job that's going to require you to, to commit acts such as that. Uh, otherwise, you could end up spending prison time uh, and essentially destroy your life. So uh, that is essentially a summary of, of Cynthia, Cynthia Cooper and how she used those seven steps at WorldCom.